Hello, welcome back to Fallout 3. So, we decided to get cracking on with the main mission here at Point Lookout. Uh, and we made it down to this, this lovely little cave. Uh, and I think we found the gentleman that we're looking for. He's the leader of this... I keep wanting to call it a cult. It's the, the, the group of tribals. Hey, you can't Hello? leave yet, Jackson. You are a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps. What brings you here? I have been looking for you, but... Maybe we should try to play along. I was drawn to your eternal wisdom. What splendid news. That's not what that says. At last, the Holy Land is empty of his disruptive aura, and the astral plane is open to us all. Oh, That's weird. but the transcendent master will want to hear of this. And as the returning champion, it is your right and honor to tell him yourself. After all, it is he who makes all true decisions about the spiritual growth of our tribe, including the decision to cleanse the mansion. Huh. That was weird, but okay, so you're you're not really the one in charge of the tribe then? Would that I was so wise. No. True leadership of the tribe belongs to the higher mind of the enlightened one. Although his mind has moved beyond the need for flesh, his consciousness still returns here to guide our people. I merely interpret his wishes. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea cave's well. Perhaps if you are fortunate, he will choose to share his wisdom with you. Huh. I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna be a lot more pissed off that I was down here. Uh... Uh, tell me about your tribe, Jackson. I, I know a lot about them, but why don't- I wanna hear from you. We are a family of dreamers, a band of astral explorers, and a church of the mind. In time, we will be free of the horrors of the base physical world. We will play amongst the pure thoughts of the universe. Interesting. So how do you lead the tribe? I know it may seem that I am a brave shepherd to my flock, but the truth is far more humble. I am nothing more than the largest fish in our school. As we swim through the astral seas, exploring, learning, and becoming one. But we are not swimming aimlessly. No, we have a beacon. The shining mind speaks to me in my meditations and guides us always. Interesting. Uh, I, I could ask him this, but it's pretty apparent already. The reason why he's attacking is because... His transcendent master wants him to. So we're going to go talk to him now. Okay, Jackson? Yes. Commune with him while I see to my tribe. There is much to be done. Yes, fellow seeker? I didn't do that. Yes. Okay. Stay away from me. All right. Oh, there's, there's coffins down. Are we in a graveyard? Oh, yeah. We are underneath a graveyard, aren't we? Okay. A weird climbing animation. All right. Um. Oh, I can't open them. Confederate hat. I don't want that. I don't want any of this stuff. Oh, bottle caps will take though. Who puts a bottle cap? In Whatever. Whatever. Hey, man. Uh. Oh boy. How you doing, bud? Wow, you just called your main man a simp. What the hell are you? What you are interacting with is merely a holographic projection, and a rather clumsy one at that, but it's all I can manage at the moment. As for myself, you gaze upon one of America's greatest minds, preserved through the miracles of science. Much more elegant than shambling on to some rotting corpse for all eternity, don't you agree? I suppose. What are you using the tribe for? Yeah. Yeah, I need to know about that. What's what's your deal with with them? Like, what's going on here? More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the 
only pressing matter at the moment is a device in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that, and I can extend my reach so much further. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. Huh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. What do you know about Desmond? I don't know much about Desmond, so what do you know? <laughs> Why did you tell the truth? Yeah, I know that he did, but all right, we're going to ask him anyways. Of course I did, but that moron thought it was one of his adult visions. The real goal was to destroy the cool scanning device. Honestly, those fools aren't worth the meat they're made of. A minion that can't follow directions is no use at all. Hmm. Yeah, you're very pleasant. I'm going to go. Yes, away with you. Yes, away with you. All right. Well, Desmond's going to be super thrilled to hear about that. Everyone wants my help, and they're just a massive douches about it. Alright, do I still have my, uh... Still got my ghoul mask on. That is good. Kind of, uh, kind of need it. There are roamers about, or reavers about. Hmm. Fascinating. All right, let's. Oh, it's telling me to go here. Not to the church, right? No, not to the church. Okay. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure it wants me to go uh, talk to Desmond. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna go check out the shops real quick, just to see if I can get my hands on a little bit extra equipment. Oh yeah, Nadine's over by the boat. Oh well, shoot. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, Nadine. Hey. Just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. Oh, Tobar did it. Okay. Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals, and let us wander back, all in exchange for punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sort of. What a bastard. How do I know you're telling the truth? Well, that's a good question. How do I know you're telling the truth? <laughs> it sounds pretty wacko, right? Well, I wouldn't have believed me either until I snuck a peek in Tobar's engine room. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. <laughs> Remind me not to mess with you. So what are you going to do? First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Oh, I like that. Uh, will you tell me about yourself? I think, I think we've already been through this route. I'm going to go now enough Gavin let's move all right all right all right I, I don't need to ride home just yet however well if it isn't my favorite traveler and oh what a trip you were on why when you were under you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth but I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head aren't you hmm so it's true why'd you do it Toby Toby, Toby, Tobar. Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, 
I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. You stop. Whoa, hey, hey, man. I wasn't even going to attack you right away. All right, hold on. Uh, actually, since we're in, like, a close range, I, I bought an extra sniper rifle to repair. I did not do it. Okay, all right, dude. Hey. Tobar. Frickin'. Frickin'. Yeah, of course you have. Look at that. Idiot. Okay. A, f a familiar piece of brain. Ha Listen, if you put a part of my brain in a jar with like six other pieces of brain in jars around it, I'm not going to be like, well, oh, that's definitely mine. The Duchess Gambit key, huh? Take that. I'm taking her outfit too. You keep your stupid punga fruit. For some reason, you feel a terrible sense of loss as you look at the familiar lump of gray matter. Eh, let's take it. I got a lump of brain. Nice. I don't know what that does, but that's a lot of brains. All right, Nadine. He's dead. You can, you just hang out. I'll be back. All right. We got ourselves lots of ammo. All right. Repaired things as much as we could. Well, not completely. I actually probably could have repaired Vengeance. I just didn't want to spend the money. Uh, even though I should have. I don't know why. I'm greedy, I guess. But, Desmond, we have some stuff to talk about, my guy. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Yeah. So, what's going on here? Galvet is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. Okay, that's great. You didn't really elaborate on anything I wanted to know. Who is this guy? Him. I should have known. My old rival. So close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man. Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland. Back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Still being cryptic, but alright, what do you want me to do now, dude? Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're mean. We get it. Let's go. You're goddamn right I am. Now let's get on with the work, shall we? Dude. Oh, man. What do you want me to do, Desmond? So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find this squishy little worm and finish him off for good. What's your plan, old man? I know Professor Calvert, and I do. He's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up his little talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point on the shore and install it. Easy, right? Oh, the big wheel down by the docks, huh? I actually thought it was going to be the lighthouse. But, all right, yeah, that that seems pretty simple. Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. 
I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go. Hi, right, dude. A please would be kind of nice. Just like every now and then you could just say please. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's go back to the Ferris wheel. That sucks. I was just over there. Good thing I've remembered that fast. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor, and we will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed up old limey. Huh. Well, now we actually got some options here. Well, let's see. What are the... Posters aren't on the wall. Okay. Let's see. Are there, are there pros and cons to... I the heck is going on here you seeing this dude the whole fabric of reality is collapsing around me and i just don't know what to do i'm really worried that fallout is just is just gonna completely fall apart on me okay so oh there's the trash compactor okay all right well we can throw it in the trash compactor and go with the the i already forgot his name calvert uh, it doesn't say, but yeah. All right. Well, tell you what, let's let's think on that. In the meantime, let's go investigate on the spy. Why not? Well, here's our hotel, motel. It's a motel. There's a difference. What is this green? The jerk. The jerk. The heck. All right. Who? Who is it? What the heck is... What is going on? What is that? A cup of joe? Alright. You know what? We're just going into the hotel, okay? Motel. It's a god dang motel. Oh yeah, this looks great too. Well, good thing this is the only room that's not boarded up. All right. Well, let's go in there then. Hell Ooh. Oh. Oh, they are not doing okay. Let's see. Some pre-war money. And a locker key. I might, I might have to take that. East. Pretty nice room you got in here, bud. Stealth boy. <clears throat> Welcome to USA. Let's see. Auto save to use your device. Begin transcription. I apologize that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Jiang. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen would hail you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house and point lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it is safe, use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission dossier. I am not going to try to read that. I do need the key and I actually know where I know exactly where that locker is because I I was looking at him whenever I first showed up and I thought it was weird that the hell was that? Anyways, yeah, I thought it was weird that it needed a key. It's not a normal thing. I don't know what's going on here, man. I don't know what this is. People's bank of point look there's a bank here? Uh, it's just some rad roaches. 
Just some rad roaches. Hey, come here, boy. There we go. Anyone else? Yeah, you. Ooh, can't open that. Actually, what's my lockpick currently at? 51. It's also... Oh, I'm still uh, dealing with freaking psycho withdrawal, man. Come on. All right, what's on the terminal? Security update. In compliance with our parent company, Isla Negra Holdings, we are installing a new security system for our safety deposit customers. In addition to conventional tumbler locks, the new system will offer a keyless voice recognition lock alternative. Tellers are asked to encourage both existing and new safety deposit customers to sign up for this new service. All tellers are reminded to be on the lookout for any customers attempting to exchange foreign currency. Civil Defense has asked us to be especially vigilant of customers purchasing, possessing Chinese yuan, yuan notes. Yuan, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm dumb. Should you encounter such a customer, trigger the silent alarm and attempt to delay the customer without arousing suspicion. Okay. Shift closing notes. Several large sum wire transfers today. We need to notify the feds in the AM. You'll need to replenish large bills. Payday's coming up. Another complaint about the voice-activated locks in the safety deposit room. Dorothy came in to fetch Burns' will and couldn't get the box to open because his voice was the only one configured for authorization. I figure it's a long shot, but I told Dorothy to go home and see if she has any holotapes or such of Burn talking. We might get lucky and fool the lock into opening if we play it back there. Ah, okay. I see what's going on here. Okay, alright. So, there's a couple of these that are gonna have to... There's a bunch of wine in here. Two Chinese pistols, I don't want any of that. And I can't open the very hard lock. So... Box of 119... 1191 password back... okay. Hello? 1191 password backup. Welcome to... Uh... I, I wasn't expecting this. It's, uh, Nevermore. Processing. Processing. Password. Verify. Voice ID. Mismatch. Access denied. User voice on. Access. Okay, that's that's fine. I wasn't expecting that. The audio password for my box is Nevermore. Neat. Uh, just, just drugs. Okay. Alright, well, um, we're gonna have to look for some more, some more holotapes. But anyways, I'm getting distracted. Also, what the hell is this? What are you? It's, it's a baby carriage, isn't it? Did you do this? What the heck, man? All right, fine. This everything's good. Let's 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 keep moving. Here we go. Password twelve oh seven. Oh well, okay. I guess we were gonna have to go to the bank anyways. All right. I know what's going on here. I can I can figure things out on my own. Oh hey, it's a uh, wanted sign for that. <laughs> for the the Chinese lady that actually we're kind of impersonating right now. All right, let's uh Here we go. Nope, this is what I want. The bank and use the password Processing. Chan Wang. Processing. The software Voice is configured ID to recognize confirmed. only our Access. voices. Granted. Why would why would you make it Chinese? Like Americans right now are super freaked out about Chinese people. Hey, shotgun shells. All right, espionage debriefing. Agent Zhang, as you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine SSN-37-1A before the Americans can recover and analyze it. The recovery location is included in this dossier, and your cover ensures that the Americans will allow you access to their recovery operation. 
However, you will need an authorization code to trigger the self-destruct sequence. One of our field operatives in your area, Agent Yang, has these codes hidden in a dental capsule, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Locate and rendezvous with Agent Yang, then destroy the submarine. Report to your safe house for extraction information when the mission is complete. Okay, interesting. Well, uh, funnily enough, I've actually already been, you know, to the, uh, the, the prison. So, what was it called? I just, I just read it. The detention camp. Okay. Yeah. Pretty sure I've been there. That's where I first got assaulted by all those ghouls. And then lots of Nuka Cola. I like that. Okay. Um, still. In the meantime, we're definitely going over there. I want to see what's going on over here because I haven't really done much exploring on this side of the map. To be honest with you, I don't even know if I... Whoa! Hi, mole rats! Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I really need to be exploring at all anyways, because... I keep exploring, which is fine, but I keep finding things that I'm already going to have to go to anyways. This looks interesting. There we go. Disaster Relief Outpost. All right. Hello. Hmm. Well, at least I can take a nap. Collective benevolence, blah, 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 blah. Unit mission parameters. Evaluate medical and social needs of local populace. Raise awareness of health risks and provide local aid. Provide aid on a local need basis. Assist with federal fitness registry compliance program. Volunteers must always uphold the standards of the collective benevolence program in public and private. All right. New plague. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Know the sign. Safeguard yourself and your community by knowing how to identify a person suffering from the new plague. Common systems include profuse sweating, unexplained contusions, and swelling. Massive external hemorrhaging. New ideals such as socialism. <laughs> Remember to CIR. When you believe you've come into contact with a person exhibiting one or more of these telltale signs, remember to CIR. C. Confirm symptoms. Approach the person suffering symptoms if no civil or medical professional is available to do so. Verify that the subject is exhibiting symptoms of new plague. I. Isolate. Once it's been established that a case of new plague may be present, separate yourself and the person exhibiting the sy symptoms from the general population as the new plague is notoriously contagious. R. Report. Report directly to the nearest Federal Fitness Registry of Medical Center and let the professionals handle it from there. Okay. Protect yourself. The new plague is what's commonly known as a social disease. This means that the new plague is especially contagious and can be commonly caught through the course of social interactions such as ice cream socials, cruising Main Street, promiscuous activity slash sodomy, okay, attending fairs or festivals. So, what's the best protection against social diseases? Why not stay at home and enjoy a novel or a home-cooked meal? Limiting your exposure to other individuals is the best and most surefire way to avoid contracting the new plague. Oh boy, alright, get registered. Did you know that your government can protect you from the new plague and other biological dangers? It's true, and all you need to do is visit your local federal fitness registry. Friendly federal professionals will be on hand to take a few minor samples and enter you in the national registry. Your compliance with the Federal Registry Program not only keeps medical professionals up to date on your medical history and status, but contributes to valuable research programs and makes you eligible for special prizes such as fuel rations or vacations to exotic domestic locales. Wow, okay. Uh, oh boy, alright. You know what? I'm not going to read all that. It's, ah, God dang it, there might be something important in there. Never mind, I guess I am going to read this. Hold on. Arrived with the first carload of volunteers today. Federal presence is nil. I guess the registry program came and went here at some point. There's some leftover equipment from them I've been authorized to remove from storage and use. 
we've got some basic antibiotics and hygiene supplies and a couple boxes of new plague awareness pamphlets. Not much to work with yet, but we were at least able to get settled in the motel. For now, I'll focus on setting our outreach center with Victoria while the rest of the volunteers get out into the community and get a feel for the situation here. The location we were given as an outreach center was a joke. This place is half built and what's been put together so far looks like it's going to fall in on itself anytime. The real estate company wasn't much help. I sent a request for some field supplies so we can set up an outdoor center until the situation can be improved upon. My volunteers are telling me that a lot of the area lacks basic infrastructure, so we'll probably want to get started with some basic vaccines and sanitation supplies. I included some of this on today's purchase request. But I don't feel like we've gotten enough of a grasp on the local situation to request much more than that yet. We staged our first outreach event today, which didn't go well. The majority of the population in the central area of Point Lookout are transplants from nearby urban centers. Lots of contracted construction workers, support staff for local businesses, a handful of business people involved in the construction projects. We're here to help a rural population who don't have a pot to piss in. <laughs> but those people don't seem to come to this town. We need to reevaluate our efforts. The local populace seems reclusive. We'll have to get creative with our outreach. Victoria was badly wounded today. She took a truck of supplies out to the Ark and Dove Cathedral beyond the river. Most of the locals we want to help are living in the primitive dwellings in the waste wetlands. The cathedral offered the closest public building to that area. She wasn't in much of a state to give details, but it sounds like nobody was around when she arrived. She ventured into the swamps to try and make contact with the locals at one of the shacks out there. The paramedics are treating a wound on the back of her head. She'll be okay, but it sounds like her skull was fractured. Victoria doesn't remember anything beyond blacking out. There was nothing stolen from her person or the medical supplies, but I'm still going to err on the side of caution and forbid volunteers from wandering out there alone. We'll do the best we can from here. Hmm. Well, I didn't get any sort of side quest, but I did get some interesting information out of that. Holy crap, hi! I'm always so surprised when there's an, a live person. Holy god. If you want to talk, I, won't fight. I don't believe you, but yeah, let's talk. Greetings, child. I'm Marcella, missionary and student of the faith. How are you? Pleased to meet you, Marcella. The feeling is mutual, child. I'd enjoy sharing my belief in the faith, if you'll listen. Uh, what do you think of Point Lookout? I'm relatively new here myself, but I'll share what I can. How do you feel about the locals? Hostile, in a word. I try to observe, but these swamp folk are dangerously aggressive to any outsiders. Lucky for us, they tend to keep to the swamp. Hmm. What do you make of all the bones and dolls on sticks around here? Swamp folk fetishes or totems, they probably mark territorial lines or maybe are involved with rituals of some kind. I've read about a lot of primitive beliefs that use similar symbols. Voodoo magic, centuria, obeya. Fascinating, if somewhat disturbing. Though the underlying beliefs seem quite dark, I'm not sure they're anything more than an empty set of traditions to the swamp folk. Interesting. You said you're not from around here? Right. I'm from the Abbey of the Road. I'm afraid its location is secret, however. Fair enough. Let's talk about something else. What are your beliefs, Marcella? Would you like me to recite some scripture? Or did you just want to know more about the faith? My mother had a favorite passage from the Bible, Revelation 21.6. Do you recognize it? Of course. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. So lovely. Selflessness like that is a rare commodity these days. I can see why that particular passage inspired her. Uh, what can you tell me about the scripture, Marcella? Scripture? The world as told in the Bible. Would you like to hear a verse? Sure. What you got? I'm afraid I don't have a copy of the scripture with me, but 
I can share a few passages. Here's one of my favorites. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. Fascinating. So what's your mission then, Marcella? We try to improve the state of the wasteland by doing good where we can and by spreading the word of the Bible. We also recover and restore religious relics that we can find, but that's a secondary goal. Hmm. How'd you become a missionary? I was raised at the Abbey of the Road, where I was educated until I could receive my rights of mission. That's when I first left the Abbey. Okay, well, that's interesting. I was expecting, like, uh, something way crazier than that. I'm gonna go, Marcella. You just stay safe, okay? Go with great care. I, I will. Uh, maybe one of these days... It... Ooh. Private Field Journal. S. Marcella J. Abbey of the Road. Point Lookout Expedition. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me walketh not in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Okay. Ooh. Obadiah Blackhall. I don't believe I've met anyone by that name. Met local by name of Obadiah Blackhall. He lives in an old manor by himself. Ah, okay, that might explain it. Class A manipulator. He solicited me to recover a book, which he claimed to be a family heirloom. The man gives me a bad feeling. I want to investigate this book and his connection to the swamp folk of the region, but he was reluctant when pressed for more information. Update. Confirmed Blackhall connection with regional beliefs. Appears that a recent ancestor to Obadiah named Constance Blackhall acquired obscure texts known as the Kribekne. Not good. I've heard mention of the book before. Must destroy. Oh, things are starting to come back to me. Okay, cool. All right. We're going to leave that be. But anyways, Tobar. Fairyman, quite a character. Dubious on the faith, but tolerant at least to hear my ministrations. Seems there's quite a bit more to the man, and he certainly isn't without the smell of sin about him. We'll visit periodically while in Point Lookout to preach, if you'll have me. Tribal Culture Cathedral! Tribal Culture occupies major sanctuary to the faith and region. Cathedral of the Ark and Dove. Would love to mine location for artifacts or any intact texts. But residents have openly ostracized outsiders. Have offered to induct me into their tribe. Tempting to undertake their oaths as a ruse to gain access, but moral reservations too great. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I can go up there and find some stuff for her. That'd, be, that'd probably be nice. The pit? Leaving the Commonwealth. Ooh, okay. Took shelter with a merchant caravan during a windstorm. More worrying tales from the pit. I wonder if my purpose will take me there one day. For now, I must continue eastward to the Commonwealth. All right, Commonwealth. I've done what good I can here. Need to get out before it catches up with me. Was able to barter passage on a boat headed south, but I don't know where I'll end up. But that's the nature of his work. Sojourn in the Capital Wasteland. Tobar tied the Duchess up in the Capital Wasteland. I spent the afternoon trading at a place called Rivet City. Broke bread with a Father Clifford. Inspirational to see another believer of the faith. Must make my way back here soon. Well, that's cute. I like that. I appreciate that. Hey, I'll keep an eye out for any... Like, if I can find a copy of the Bible or something, I'll come bring it to you. How's that sound? Mm, ooh. Crochet box. Take that. Oh, another one. An empty whiskey bottle. Cool. Just a lot of yeast. Why is there so much yeast? Okay. Alright, well, let's... Let's make our way up to the uh, detention center real quick. I spent so much time goofing around. I really haven't gotten anything accomplished today. I'm so sorry. What the heck? Well, I mean, I realize this is a graveyard with... Oh, they're ghouls. Hey, guys. Ugh. Oh, jeez. There's another, like, manor, too. Oh, boy. Man, thank God for the ghoul mask. Alright, we're gonna come back this way eventually. But right now, I really need to, like, get stuff done. 
Let's see if I can fast travel. Oh yeah, that's right. I know where we're going. Right here. There we go. You found what's left of Agent Yang. Inspecting the remains closely, you discover a false molar tooth. There's a microfilm within that must contain the self-destruct codes for the Chinese submarine. Yes, give me that. Awesome. Feels... Ah, uh, man. Activate the Chinese submarine self-destruct protocol. Sure. Why not? This seems like a responsible thing for me to be doing right now. I don't know if I've ever, like, brought this up before or ever talked about it, but... Uh, like... Swimming and going, like, underwater in video games for some reason is, like, I don't know. I don't like doing it. I feel like all, this, all the scariest things get me. Uh, in the ocean. Especially in video games. I don't like it. I don't want to deal with it. But here's the submarine, so I guess... I guess we're safe for now. Oh, God. Alright, let's check the boat. I really want to get out of the water, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Alright. Uh... There's the sub. Okay. Is there anything under this boat? No, I don't believe so. Alright. Let's... Let's get in here. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm drowning. Oh, yeah, this looks... This looks safe. Good. Good. Let's see. Got some random crap. I didn't mean to take the combat knife. I don't want that. Get out of here. Uh, I don't need the recon armor either. I've actually got the Chinese stealth suit now. So, uh, take that combat armor and sell it, baby. Alright, um. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's blow this up, huh? Whoa, hold up. Is that a stealth boy? Hell yeah, it is. Alright, now let's blow this up. Uh, mission parameters, blah, 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 is ordered to patrol hostile waters, variation to tolerate as required, blah, 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 okay. Initiate self-destruct. Self-destruct protocol initiated. Engineer must evac- must activate failsafe switch and aft engine to confirm sequence. Personnel will have less than one minute to escape. Okay. Uh... There appears to be a functional self-destruct switch, but the mechanism does nothing without- uh, let's confirm it. Let's get out of here. Nice. Okay. Uh, apparently now we need to go to the... Oh, there's Meyer Lurks. Oh. Well, I can't fast travel with you jerks around. Hold on. Oh, man, the lighthouse is working. That's awesome. Okay. Dude, hold on. I... Using the freaking... Ow. Stupid to try to use a sniper rifle for that. Come here. There we go. You fools. Let's go back to the motel. Man, what a vacation this has been so far. Uh, oh, terminal. Okay. Extraction details. Agent Jiang, automated correspondence of Chinese intelligence ministry. Remote positive uh, mission parameters satisfactory. Orbital intelligence verifies SSN 3718 termination. Please note following from intelligence. Agent, if you're receiving this message, the nurse satellites have registered the destruction of your objective. Well done. Please report to my personal bunker, hidden among the grounds of the Calvert Mansion. Hidden, yeah, hidden among the grounds of Calvert Mansion. Uh, coordinates have been provided with this transmission. The bunker entrance is hidden, of course. Your pair of cryptochromatic spectacles you have in the water tank of the toilet is in your safe house. Retrieve them if you haven't already. Here's the sequence code to unlock the bunker. 1323442. Once inside, the passphrase is Seraphim Descending. 
I look forward to congratulating you personally, Agent. Dude, there's so many weird things happening. There we go. Alright, cool. I, I can't wait to put these glasses on that have been sitting in a toilet for 200 years. Also, I grabbed the keys. We might as well see what's in here. Money. Lots of money. Looks like, uh... Hmm. Yeah, a deal gone wrong, huh? Fascinating. It's in the trunk. More yeast! Okay. Not a whole lot going on in there. I think there should be one more room that's open. Because I did grab two keys. I believe I grabbed two keys. I think one was for room like 1k or something. Hmm. Maybe it's around back of the building? Maybe. We'll take a look real quick and then we'll we'll finish up this Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be back here somewhere. Maybe not this side, but it's around the back. Yeah, there it is. I don't like this at all. Actually, this kind of looks like a standard red roof in room, doesn't it? Hmm. Complimentary axe though, that's nice. Moonshine. This actually might be a little Oh my god. Really? Well, okay, yeah, I'm gonna take that. I don't... Really didn't want to just see that come around the corner. God. This, all right. Huh. Let's let's get back to the mansion. Let's do this thing. Let's wrap this show up. Wow. Gives me plus five to melee weapons. Great. I'm going to keep this on for a minute. Actually, no, I'm not because I need my ghoul mask. Duh. Uh, oh, but I do need to wear my... Uh, my spectacles. Let's see here. Ah. Okay, we got a number on these? Ah, okay, now they've got the... Alright, what was the... Uh... Okay. One. Three. Two. Three. Four. Four, two. Seek the spy's extraction detail. Well, what did that do? What the heck did that do? Oh, here it is. Okay. Nice. Hello? Jeez. There's a protectron. A bottle cap mine. How you doing, buddy? Ooh, mini nuke. Love to see it. This is a hazardous area. For your own safety, please vacate the premises. The passphrase is Seraphim descending. Step aside, Tin Man. Clearance acknowledged. Follow me for your extraction debriefing, comrade. I have a feeling that that uh, conversation with him is not going to go well. You know what I mean? But look at all of this ammo, dude! Oh! Chinese assault rifle, Chinese assault... Okay. Okay, I will, I will definitely go in there. This definitely isn't going to be a trick. But, um... Let's see what we got. 32 caliber, 556, 556. Microfusion cells, 556, 32 caliber. Give me something good, 556. Energy cell. There we go. Yes, that's good. Shotgun shells, more 5 millimeter. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh, man. Eugene is eating good tonight. 
awesome. That was like 400, uh, five millimeter rounds, man. That's perfect. All right, dude. Uh. Oh yeah, this is definitely a trick, isn't it? This is, uh, well, now you die for your country, comrade, kind of bullcrap situation, isn't it? Backwater rifle, huh? Ooh. Okay. Hold on, can I repair that with the uh, other lever action rifle? I bet I could. I bet I could. Nice. It's not super great, but I like it. I really like it. All right, let's see what this says. Let's get tricked. Extraction debriefing. You've done well to get this far. Your payment has been transacted to your next of kin under the pretext of a ration lottery. With deepest regret, however, your life must now be terminated for the good of the People's Republic. Go with dignity, honorable soldier. Yeah, of course. Of course, of course that happened. What's in here? Uh, nothing great. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, God, I fell. All right, come on. There's a lot of radiation in here. Oh. Okay. Yep, all right, that's it. Ooh, great. Hey, they were nice enough to give you some, uh... Some rat away. Okay. Well, man, who would have guessed that they were going to betray us? Certainly not me. All right. Ah, I don't want to be underwater, dude. It's like the last place I want to be right now. Okay. Well, with that done, you know, I got really distracted. Now, I don't even know if I... If, oh, man. I feel like we're probably going to help Desmond. I might change my mind and maybe we'll help Calvert. Who knows? Certainly I don't, but we'll figure that out on the next episode, and I hope you're looking forward to it. And of course, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!